class of 2018. It's Jeff here. I'm the orientation chair. I'm here with... I'm Alex Smithers. I'm a white shirt on the orientation committee, and I'm planning Nanny Mania. I'm Piper, and I'm also on the orientation committee, and I'm planning academic orientation. And I'm Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, your master vice president campus life. There we go. <laughs> And so, um, yeah, we're going to try and, like, answer some of you guys' questions, concerns about, like, living in res, like, living away from home for the first time, orientation specific, so we've all just sort of, like, picked a question for each other, we don't know what it is, and we're going to try and answer it as best we can. So we'll start off with Piper. So the question is, if I have an ensuite in residence, is there anything special I need to buy or bring? Well, if you've been on Sweden residence, you should bring all the typical things that you would bring to residence, but you should also consider bringing things like toilet paper, soap, hand towels, a bath mat, a shower curtain, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. anything else? Nothing uh, else? Cleaning stuff. I yeah, think. You, yeah clean you clean your own bathroom, so <laughs> have fun <laughs> working at the car wash. Um, yeah. That's that would be my suggestion. And plan with your sweet mates. Yes, it, plan with your sweet mate um, and or roommate if you live in like a double that shares a bathroom. Um, what you guys are going to bring and how you're going to share the costs and who's going to take cleaning responsibilities. Have fun. You want to take next one? Okay, I got this one for Andrew, and Andrew has this one for me. So the question is, how hard is it to get involved at Mount A? Not hard at all. Uh, it isn't. It's literally like the easiest thing to do. Um, you have so many people around you who just want you to do so many things. So if you're in residence, your residence execs will be planning so many activities for you and just want you to get involved or help out. Um, if residence isn't exactly your thing, there's also a ton of club and size. How many are there? Do you know? Over 140. Over 140, <laughs> ranging from a lot of things like ultimate frisbee to right to play to I'm pretty sure there's a baking club, right? That's Probably. The Canadian Studies Club. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Also, in your I just remember this now. In your residence, you can do intramurals, which are a hoot because it's a lot of fun. And yeah, it's generally the easiest thing to do at Mount A. And anyone like off campus can start an intramural too. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You don't have to be in a residence to be in uh, intramurals. You can make your own with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> True. What a great segue into how do I find out about clubs and societies? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you now. Um, on September 7th, there's going to be a clubs and societies fair in the athletic center, and there's going to be all 140 different clubs and societies and more. And you can go and you can sign, your, sign up, put your email address down, and get all the contact information about all the different, diff different clubs and societies that you'd like to join. And if you don't want to do that, you can just talk to me and I'll set you up with a club and society. <laughs> and if you don't like any of the clubs and societies that are there, you can start your own. Real easy. Super easy. Super, super easy. And <laughs> super, last, but certainly easy. not least... I'll answer a question. Yay. So, if I live in a single room, is it difficult to make friends? Not at all. Like, um, I know, for instance, in Harper, the majority of the res is single rooms, and so, and in, 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 in other reses where it isn't majoritively single rooms, you just have to follow the rule that pretty much everyone just leaves their door open all the time, and so it's when you do that, just everyone just sort of just wanders in. I'm pretty sure, like, one of my friends I've had for five years now, I met him because I was watching him move me in my room, and he just walked in, it was just sort of like, what are you watching? <laughs> so, you know, like, it's super easy. Everyone's in the same boat as you, so if you're worried about, like, making friends along those lines, then everyone else is probably in the exact same boat as you. So just be open to making friends, and also if you have a single room, don't be afraid to go over and make a friend with someone else. Just walk in, just introduce yourself, say hi, and get involved with that way. So, yeah. And remember, if you're scared, then likely everyone else who's here is scared, too. <laughs> Class of 2018, <laughs> we'll see you super soon, and we're really excited for you to find, find yourself. yourself. Yeah! <laughs>